is before we start. Before we start. everyone and welcome back to this channel and um, actually I've been taking a little bit of a break during Christmas holidays forgive me for the lights but I actually have to record this video now because I don't have time during the afternoon for doing it so you will be actually seeing me uh, half dark and half light for all this video and I hope it doesn't bother you that much So we can start and I have a little introduction for you before we start for this video It's related to what we mean when we talk about the word culture Actually, I've been questioning this thing myself since I started my studies How we identify ourselves is really related to this world and to perception that we have of the society we live in I came to understand that somehow we actually perceive the way we are We identify ourselves with the world culture as well and with the society we live in So one example is about myself and I actually have been questioning Why do I actually get angry when people put pineapple on pizza? It's because it's actually a disgusting thing or because I am Italian. If we think about it, most of the Italians that actually get triggered by this thing of the pineapple on pizza never taste it in their own life. So what's the point of getting angry about some stuff that actually you didn't even try it in the first place? Why do we take this thing so personal? It's because somehow when you grow up in Italy, you live constantly with this perception that you make actually the best food of the world and it's no one else that can actually be compared to the way your grandma does your food but all those people did they really actually travel around the world and taste different food well the answer is pretty much that answer which is no and how we can relate this to international relationships well it is related because if you think about that stupid example of the pineapple on pizza i came across this thought which is can i really justify my ignorance about the rest of the world saying i can help it because i'm italian I can't. This is related to all other nationalities. I just made the example on myself because I don't want other people to get triggered in here. I had enough of triggering people. So if I have to think about my previous experiences with relationship but also international friendships, this thing of justify ourselves just because of our culture, it's really common and it's not something I quite like uh, when it comes to to have even like the easiest chat of the world with one person I don't really think that we can actually justify ourselves for being rude, selfish or whatever just because it's our culture just what is culture? I mean culture is that you feel entitled to treat another person in another way just because the other person is not of the same culture as you are that I think is just an excuse to get away with you not being polite with people if you're selfish, you're not selfish because you're Chinese, you're just selfish. And if you're rude, you're not rude because you're French, you're just rude. If you're a close-minded person and you grow up with this conception that in the Western world they're all these demons flying around and ready to hurt you as soon as you step in here, well, probably that is your problem. It's not it's not another problem, it's not the society you live in because you have a lot of sources to find information about what you're interested about so if you want to travel in Europe then you can actually find a lot of amazing articles and amazing tourist guides that are saying things that are actually quite normal to read so if you want to believe in certain kind of stuff, that has to do with you and not with the society you live in. Of course, this is not applicable for people that are actually living under dictatorship because that's another level of knowledge and another level of living in a country. And I really cannot stop now and start talking about that because first of all, I not, <laughs> I'm not informed enough uh, to talk about all the dictatorship that going around all the world and second of all that's not the main topic but the thing is that if you live in a normal and actually kind of free society 
and you have access to a lot of sources to get informed to yourself, I guess that's not even a problem. So stop justifying yourself uh, and saying, well, this is my culture, I can't help it, because it's not. I mean, your culture has to do probably with other things and not for the fact that you're being rude because what I feel is just some people are justifying themselves with this thing like they actually use this word culture to get away with a lot of stuff an example like one of the worst examples that we can find is like if a guy beats its wife to death and then justify himself saying well it's my culture I don't really think that your culture is pushing you to beat your wife to death so that's just an excuse you find to get away with your whatever is your problem. This is what I've been trying to change about myself as well with this stupid example of the pineapple on pizza, which I know it's really, really stupid, but that's actually how it works. I get triggered just because I'm Italian and I don't get triggered because I taste it and I think it's disgusting. I never taste it, but if I hear about it, I'm like, oh my God, you know, you cannot put pineapple on pizza. The world is gonna end and you know, we're not gonna live anymore. Well, that's not gonna happen, you know, that's, you get triggered because you feel that actually something has taken away from you, but actually it's not. Because we make pizza with ingredients that are not coming originally, all of them from Italy. So if you think about all the tradition and the culture that you have, it's quite a modern thing. And it's not something that has going on for years and years because culture and tradition is something that we have to get stick to in order not to lose our identity otherwise we feel lost and otherwise we don't know where to go and we start to questioning actually ourselves tradition culture i mean it's not really an excuse to get away with some of your stuff even because it's not really something that you think it is uh, actually it's quite modern and it's a quite modern concept and actually it was made to compact yourself with other people to fear more close with someone else that is actually from your country except for someone else that is actually from another country but if you really think about it now we have all the tools to get and have things in common with all the people of the world and sometimes you can feel nearest to another person that is actually living on the other side of the world than your neighbor everyone has different interests i don't think that you have the same interest or your neighbor that actually has 70 years old and not just because they are from the same nationality as you are that means you have something in common with them and this has to do a lot with prejudice and with a lot of stuff that actually we can experience in the, in the Western society, but also Asian society. And it's like you see a movie and you think that that is the perception that you have on the other side of the world. But actually, if you are a little bit smart to yourself and you're curious enough to go and get informed about what is actually happening, then you're just going to find out that it's, it's not what you think and it's not what they picture in in movies or you know on TV that's that's just that's just like not even a quarter of what you know about the other side of the world so I don't think there is actually a solution for this uh, I think the only is really a complex topic and it will be really a long long video if I have to talk about all the details and I always feel that I don't know enough uh, sometimes to talk about some stuff in a specific because I think everyone has a lot to learn and even if I'm studying that doesn't mean I know everything about some stuff there's still so so much more stuff I need to learn about the world and I don't really think that I'm going to learn them all uh, <laughs> so I'm trying my best but it's really a complex topic and you really need to read a lot of books and stuff to understand really what's going on in the world and it's also related to philosophy is also related to politics it's a really complex topic so I've been trying to summarize what I think is actually good to know when it comes to international relationships most of the people there are majoring in foreign languages um, they did study some of this stuff so probably they're following me more so if you stop doing those stuff ask to yourself are you even no longer italian if you eat pineapple on pizza 
Are you really no longer, I don't know, Chinese if you don't get married before 30? Actually, the answer is no. You still there, you still live there, you still enjoy your life there. If you were born in there and you like where you live, it's completely fine. But of course, sometimes we need to question ourselves with those stuff because I think that we cannot really get away with some of our behaviors just because our culture. Culture has nothing to do uh, with that. The thing is that probably we are too much afraid to lose our national identity because then we need, we need to start questioning ourselves about what we really are, what we really do and all those kind of questions that people are trying to avoid to all their life because they're really afraid of what the answer is going to be actually because there is no answer. I think that being like question your nationality and question your culture, question everything, it's something that we all need to do. I hope that this was helpful for you and if you want to research uh, about this topic I can actually link to you some of the books that I read and some of the articles that I read about this thing and I'm going to put them all in the info box so if you're interested about this is university stuff so be careful because it's quite complex to read and stuff so i, I hope you you really enjoy uh, this video and actually if you want to see more videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel and if you want to hear some stuff and see me speaking chinese in my instagram stories you can follow me on instagram the links are down below and thanks again for your support uh, i didn't imagine really that my first video was going to reach almost 10k and i'm actually really really happy about it and i'm i'm sure this project is gonna go long and long because of the support i'm receiving from people so thank you so much and i'll see you on my next video um goodbye bye bye <laughs>